in the hydroponic tomato house. The plants that we have in here is now the middle of April, and these plants were transplanted just over three weeks ago. We already have blossoms open on probably half of the plants at this point. Pepper and eggplant are also in here, but they're still a bit smaller. They were transplanted later than the tomato, of course, because they still have a bit to go. We've changed the house a bit this year. We're trying to eliminate the need for the roll-up sides and keep the greenhouse closed and screened in. So what we're using predominantly this year is the ventilation fans. Uh, we have uh, fans that are connected to um, a snap switch so that when it gets to a certain temperature, they'll come on automatically and start ventilating the house. At the opposite end of the house is a window to um, allow the intake of air that then gets blown across. We've added the ceiling fans in here, which you also saw in the Green's house circulate the air so there's not a lot of hot air sitting at the top of the high tunnel. It allows the air to circulate a bit. Um, both at the fans and the intake window, we've put screens across so that should keep any insects out. And what we're also keeping in is the new hive of bumblebees that we added. Since everything is closed up and we need pollination for the plants, we got the hive of bumblebees. So the screens will make sure that they don't go anywhere and they will do their work pollinating all the plants in the greenhouse. So hopefully with these changes this year, we can see um, an improvement in pollination with bees and uh, less need for us to uh, open up the roll-ups. It should be more automatic with the fans coming on by themselves and ventilating the house. Uh, and, and that'll lead to less fluctuation in the temperature in the greenhouse and keep everything even. Um, so that's about it for this update. Uh, we'll come back, we'll do another update when the plants get bigger and when we start seeing fruit on the plants.